Favorite Gemini, this is Renee and welcome back. Gemini, we're going to take a look at the next three months, what's happening, what you can expect, what's coming forward the next three months, okay? So, if this resonates, please like, sub subscribe, and hit that bell. And if it doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements, okay? So, let's get into this. Oh, make sure to stay around to the end when I pull your angel number. I'm, I'm really loving these angel numbers. Um, they're beautiful cards. And I'm, I think I'm going to start incorporating them in most of my readings too. You know, pull you an angel number. So make sure to stick to the end for that, okay? So let's get into this, Gemini. What's coming forward for Gemini the next three months? What they can expect? What is going on for Gemini? Okay, we have be open to success. Success is coming in, okay? Look at all the wonderful things you can do when you listen to your divine guidance. You've balanced so many different priorities and have come out a winner. There will be a lot of recognition and praise headed your way, but don't be shy. Allow others to shower you with gratitude you deserve. Okay, the number seven. Okay, beautiful. Okay, let's get another card. There's success coming in the next three months, Gemini. You know, something is happening. Something is unfolding. You know, Spirit is letting you know this is on the way. Be prepared, okay? So, let's get another card for Gemini. We have Release Jealousy. Jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something. The universe manifests exactly what, exactly as you affirm. Let other people's successes inspire rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. Okay, you know what, Gemini? I'm feeling like, you know, there's something that you're doing that there's a lot of competition in. There's something that you're doing that, you know... Um, others may be pursuing as well. Maybe you're a social media guru. Maybe you're, you know, some kind of influencer. Maybe you have a YouTube channel. But I feel like, you know, the way other people are doing things may not necessarily be the same way you should do things, okay? And if other people are getting more views or if other people are getting recognized more, that doesn't mean that you can't. That just means that, you know, your time is coming, okay? It just, you need to put yourself out there, be assertive, and keep going after it, okay? Don't have this jealous mentality as, why is this person so much more successful than me? And we started about the same time, you know? Because the cards, the stars, and everything else are aligned differently for that person than they are for you. Maybe it is that you need to work a little bit harder to get recognized, but you may actually become more successful than someone that you are looking at, but it just may take more time to move up that ladder, okay? So be mindful of the way that you think because exactly what it was saying what you are you are getting see the universe manifests exactly as you affirm it so if you're affirming to someone that you're jealous of them of course you're going to keep having that mindset and the universe is going to see that and they're going to keep you know affirming that that person is rising higher while you're still standing still so you know be careful about the things that you put out there in the world because you know what you are saying what you are speaking is actually being manifested so just be vigilant okay so that is that's that okay okay let's go ahead and get some more energy for gemini let's get some more energy for gemini okay we have fear I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. So there may be some reason for you to fight some kind of fear. 
you know, work through some kind of feelings that you're going through. Maybe you have a fear to start something. Maybe you have a fear to pursue a dream or, you know, maybe something is holding you back. But those, that resolve needs to be, there needs to be a resolution. Exactly. Um, so those are feelings that you want to work through this next three months is working on those situations. Why this fear is popping up here and what you can do to lay this to rest. Okay. Um, let's get another card from spirits. Faith. Of course, having more faith. Spirit wants you to have faith in your abilities. Have faith in something that you're trying to pursue. Okay? Um, wow. Beautiful. Okay, let's get some tarot. We're going to take a look at... First, we're going to take a look at what it is that you may need to release in this next three months. What needs to be released in this next three months to put you into a better position in a better positive um, frame of light? Okay, let's see what needs to be released. Wow, you're thinking. Overthinking something. Knight of Swords, lots of thinking going on here. Okay, and... See, we have the Six of Pentacles on the bottom. So I, I feel like the Six of Pentacles is talking more about balance, something about give and take, something about, you know, um, maybe being a giver more than a taker, but having that balance, okay, finding more balance in your life. Um, but I feel like the thing that needs to be released basically is your thinking patterns. The ways that you're thinking about something is bringing a lot of chaos to what spirit is trying to help you bring forward. Okay? Changing your mindset. Removing any negative thoughts, negative feelings will help you push ahead in a um, more... Um, uh, easier path, an easier way, okay? Um, so the Spirit wants you to take control of your thinking. Take control of your thinking. Shift that mindset to more positive. I'm going to go ahead and get one more card because I want a little bit more clarity on this. Tell me more, Spirit. Give me more message for Gemini. What thinking does Gemini need to shift? Give me more messages. Okay. Yeah, the feeling that there's so much competition, the feeling that you may not be good enough, that you need to work harder on a situation. Know that you are good enough, that you have the ability. And Spirit wants you to know that you have some advantages that some may not. Maybe you know a certain skill and others don't, you know. So feeling like you can't be enough in a situation, changing that mindset, changing that mindset because you are enough. There's no competition greater than yourself. Okay, and I feel like, you know, you are your biggest competition because I feel like you're very hard on yourself. You're judging yourself too harshly, uh, Gemini. There's some things that you need to let go of. Maybe you do need to train in a certain situation. Maybe there is more knowledge that you can receive, but I feel like you are your own worst critic. Okay, so changing that perspective is going to help you just releasing that energy releasing that energy of judging yourself of being too harsh with yourself speak kind words to yourself okay um i know for a long time i'm gonna i'm just gonna give you a story for a long time you know, when I looked in the mirror, I didn't like what I saw. You know, I saw someone who was too, my skin was too chubby. You know, my eyes were too dark. 
you know my lashes were too short you know I saw myself in that light and every time I looked at myself in the mirror I just said you know how many things I did not like about myself and that just created a lot of um, anguish that really could have been resolved if I would have just accepted myself for exactly who I was. So, I mean, I'm not sure why I'm giving you that story, but I'm telling you that story because, you know, sometimes we need to see ourselves in a different light. Look at yourself in the mirror and see your beauty. See your beauty. See the things that stand out that other people may recognize or may not recognize just love yourself more than someone else can love you okay so I, I I just feel like you needed to hear that Gemini okay now your challenge yeah your challenge is your thoughts again there we go okay Okay, Gemini, your challenge. Your challenge is getting a better understanding. Getting a better understanding of whatever this is that you're working on. Getting a better understanding of yourself, of your capabilities, and the things that you need to improve on. Okay? But like I said, don't be your worst critic. Okay? There may be... Um, you have a challenge to get out of this lack mentality, to feel like, you know, you're spending too much time alone. Um, you may be left out of certain situations. Maybe you feel like no one really understands you at the moment. You know, your challenge is to get past that situation and really see the offers that are in front of you. Really see the offers that people really do look up to you, that people really do see you as a very unique, a very beautiful person. Okay, you could be male or female going through this, okay? Um, but that is your challenge, Gemini. Your challenge is to get out of that lack mentality, the challenge of having to understand everything having to have the answers okay and i'm a gemini myself so i truly understand that we have to know what's going on you know we have to have that answer that understanding in order to see something through so i'm there with you gemini i hear you loud and clear okay so um, the blessings. We're going to take a look at the blessings that would be coming in for Gemini. What would be coming in for Gemini in the next three months? What would be blessing Gemini in the next three months? Wow, okay. We have the King of Wands. We have the High Priestess. We have the Seven of Cups. Wow, okay. Opportunities. And the Knight of Pentacles. At the bottom, we have the Queen of Cups. So if it's love that you're looking for, there may be love here. Gemini, we have the King of Wands and the, the Queen of Cups. So, you know, there may be love in store for you, you know. Um, so let's take a look at this, Gemini. The Blessings. Okay. I feel like, you know, in the next three months, I feel like, you know, you may feel like, you just don't have the energy to do the things that you need to do. I feel like there's going to be a burst of energy. You're going to have a surplus of energy. And Gemini, you know, we are the most adaptable sign in the Zodiac. Okay. And look, you see the chameleon here. And he has chameleons all over his robe. So I feel like in the next three months, you're going to adapt to any situation that you come into. You're going to ad adapt and you're going to improve. So I feel like, you know, where things are not so clear now, they are going to become clear because you're taking action. You are getting moving into doing something that you are pursuing okay you're being very assertive you're being very bold very daring um very very fearless 
Um, the King of Wands is also an entrepreneur. He is very close to the Emperor. So I feel like, you know, if it's business that you have, I feel like you are really diving deep in business. And you're taking a lot of action. You're making a lot of moves. A lot of initiative is happening during the, three, the, the next three months. And I feel like things are happening. Things are starting to become clear. They're starting to unfold. Big blessings are starting to be shown to you. Okay? Um, there's a reason why that curtain is there. You know, it's hiding what's behind it. So I feel like something is being revealed. Big blessings are being revealed to you um, during the next three months. Okay? So something is drastically improving. Something is very unexpectedly happening for you. And, and I feel like it's, it's going to be very exciting. The next three months is going to be very exciting. It's going to be a lot of hard work. I'm not saying that you're not going to have struggles and challenges because we see right here you're going to have struggles and challenges, but I feel like you're coming out on top, Gemini, okay? There are going to be options that are presented to you. You're going to have many options to choose from. You're going to have many decisions to make. Um, there are going to be some things that may be uh, not right for you at the moment and may work later on, but I feel like there's going to be options that are very doable for you in the next three months. So I feel like you're going to be very busy because I feel like you're going to be trying out these options. And there's going to be one strong offer. There's going to be a very strong offer. This may be an offer for work or promotion, uh, but this is some kind of increase. This is an offer of increase. Something is being offered to you to bring you more income, more abundance, more um, something that's solid and stable. Okay, so th this is a very trusted um, option that's available for you. This is something that's being offered to you, something that's being gifted. Okay, so I feel like this is very good news that's coming in for you. And I feel like it's very welcoming news because I feel like you're trying very hard to do something. You're trying to work something out. Okay. Um, let's get another message. Tell me more about this for Gemini. Okay. We have the Four of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Wow. So this is a very strong arm offer that's going to lead to a lot of, you know, celebration, a lot of happiness. If this is love, this is love that may lead to the next level, to a higher standard, to, you know, maybe marriage, maybe proposal. But I feel like there's a lot of happiness here. There's a reason for celebration. This is harvest. Okay. This is harvest time. This is reaping the rewards of your success. Okay, so um, I feel like, you know, there there may be an offer that's presented that I feel like, you know, you may try this offer and it just doesn't work the way you suspected. Um, but I feel like there's another offer right behind it that's even more stable, more that brings more abundance. And we see that here with the Knight of Pentacles. That offer is bringing in a lot of abundance, a lot of... Um, A lot of stability. Look how she's looking into that pinnacle and she's she's really caressing it. She's holding it up and just blessing that pinnacle. You know, I feel like some some kind of blessing is coming through that is going to bring you to a higher position. This very well may be a very good promotion. Maybe an offer comes in and a better offer. You know, that they, they say, you know, this is the offer that we have for you for this promotion, for this increase. And then right behind it, you know, well, I have even a better offer. You know, the, okay, this is what we're going to give you. You know, so I, I feel like, you know, you are going to have a overwhelming abundance of 
gratitude and good news in the next three months. There's something that's going to be very successful. Okay, so let's take a look at love. Let's see what's going on in Gemini's love life. The next three months, please. Okay, soulmates. So this love that you may be meeting could be a soulmate, some soul connection, a partnership, agreement, a soul contract. Okay, and um, then we have healing heart. So you may be currently healing for some kind of heartbreak, um, freeing yourself from some kind of toxic relationship or addiction, but I feel like your soulmate is right behind it. Your soulmate is here, okay? So I, I feel like, you know, something is coming that you may not be aware of. You may be healing at this moment from some kind of situation, Gemini, but I feel like, you know, in the next three months, someone is coming through. You're going to be meeting someone who's going to be very special. Okay? Yeah. See? Exactly. This is what I'm getting. Look at this. You have to let go so that something better can come. That's that healing heart energy. And then we have take a leap of faith. Okay? So someone better is on the way. Someone better is on the way. And you've learned your lesson in love, so you know exactly what to look for this time. Okay? You're being called to have faith in your situation. Okay? So that is what I have for you, Gemini. Let's go ahead and take a manifestation moonology card. Let's see what we have for Gemini. I feel like there's a lot of information going on right now, Gemini. See, we have a push through any insecurities. So, yeah, push through those fears, okay? Step up and lead, okay? Take the first move. Be that true leader that you are. That's Capricorn energy, you know? At the bottom, we have go wild, you know, Leo energy, strength. So you are strong and capable, okay? So let's get, let's see, here we go. Let's get an angel card for Gemini. What do the angels have to say to Gemini for the next three months? Message for Gemini. Okay, we have friendships and unions. So like I said, I feel like there's something very strong coming forward. It may turn into some kind of soulmate connection, but you do have friendships and unions coming forward, okay? And we also have strength and guidance. So uh, Spirit wants you to know that you are divinely guided. You are enough. You have the strength. Trust in the universe and the way the universe is pointing you, okay? Trust in your path. Okay, beautiful. Now, let's see. We'll get in another oracle card for Gemini. What do we have for Gemini, please? Okay, we have love and acceptance. Do we have an acceptance here? No, we had faith, okay? That was the last reading we had acceptance. Okay, we have love and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth and choose loving thoughts. Okay? And we have focused intention. Think about what you desire and set your sights high. Accept, no, excuse me. Expect. The, pos the best possible outcome. Expect the best possible outcome. Okay? At the bottom, we have life force. Express your driving passion. Sensual and sexual powers are increased. Okay? So there's something that's going to be very passionate coming forward for you. There's something that's happening divinely that's pushing you forward. And like I said, I feel like that soulmate is there. If you haven't met your soulmate already, 
Gemini. I feel like your soulmate is very close. Okay. Let's get an angel number for Gemini. What angel number do we have for Gemini the next three months, please? What angel number do we have for Gemini? Okay. We have 999. Release. Endings are new beginnings in disguise. An ending symbolizes the closure of one door and the opening of another. The whisper is reminding you to release and allow. It is in the release where the magic happens. Okay? Door and your affirmation, excuse me. Your affirmation is doors open for me where others have closed, bringing transformation to my mind, my body, and my soul. Okay, beautiful. Okay, Gemini, that is your reading. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. If this doesn't resonate, take a look at your moon, rising, and your Venus sign. I have those uploaded in your March playlist. And until your next reading, Gemini, many blessings to you. Love and light.